Hi guys, I'm actually getting ready to go to um, bed. <laughs> but um, I look like I'm bored. Apart from this bit of hair. Oh well. Um, the reason I look bored is because my hair is in a bun. And my thing and my little bit of hair here. Because um, I need to have curly hair to go to my aunt's tomorrow. <laughs> so that's why I have learned how to do it instead of using hair curlers because they just take way too long. Anyway. I'm going to talk to you about a book, this book, Nowhere to Run by Judy Westwater. It is amazing. It is probably the best book I have ever read in my entire life. In fact, it's probably the only book I've read in my entire life. No, I'm reading this, Spiral by Koji Suzuki, and I've read another book, which is My Mum's Room, which I've forgotten what it's called. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I only ever read true life stories apart from Spiral. I only read Spiral because it was done by some Japanese publisher, some publisher, writer, so I'm like, ah, read it. And then some of it doesn't make sense to me. My um, gum infection, I swear to couple lump is growing by the second. It really burned me. I wish I could just pop it. <laughs> That's disgusting. Anyways, this book. Story, so it's obviously this one. Um, basically, she is abandoned in South Africa when she's like young. <laughs> eight, I think. It's either eight or fourteen. And, um, eight, because someone else picked her at fourteen. And, um, she has to live on the streets and stuff, and then she meets, she joins the circus, meets some guy that seems to be really nice, gets married to him, and he's a twat. <laughs> and he beats her, and he beats her, and he beats her, and then they move to some other place, and then they have two children. He calls one of them Judith, and the other one... David? I want to say David. I've completely forgotten. I think it's David. Jude, David, yeah, we'll say. David is pretty young boy. <laughs> um, really fat face in my head. And then um, it's all the rest of it. <laughs> from when I no, they they leave the their dad and um move back to South Africa where she grew up. She gets burgled. Her little girl, who's five at the time, five, gets raped from the um by the um cleaner. That gets taken to trial and that's where I'm at. <laughs> I'll keep you informed because this looks really, really, really interesting. <laughs> Looking forward to tomorrow. Can you tell? I've already sorted out what I'm gonna wear. I'm wearing what what I'm wearing now is what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. <laughs> I have a picture of it actually, because um, I took off my red shirt as you can see, and um, I've just got a oh, <laughs> shot, a um, black vest on, and um, then I have black tight footless tights on. They're not leggings, they are footless tights. <laughs> Some more. It's 25 to 1 in the morning. Do I want to stay up any longer? Yes. Because <laughs> that's how amazing this book is. I will sacrifice something I absolutely love to read this book. So, read it. Read it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Sorry for the cat in the. <laughs> Bye.